So in the pursuit of understanding fuzzy set, let us start with understanding the difference between crisp set and the fuzzy sets. So this time we are going to understand the difference between this crisp set and fuzzy sets. Let us start with sets. So a well-defined collection of objects is called a set. So uh, this definition we had already studied from class 1 till class 12. And if uh, we want to see the examples, so set of say integers. Second example, we can say the set of all vowels in English. Perfect. So uh, this is said to be a set. Now we are moving to uh, the crisp set. What exactly is the crisp set? So let us start with crisp set. Let us take a set. Suppose the set is A. And let this set has say three elements. Say 1, 2 and 3. So if I ask you is 1 in A? You will say yes. So 1 belongs to A. If uh, the question is is 4 belongs to A? No, 4 does not belong to A. So we have this relation of belongingness, of membership. So if uh, here we say the membership, it is either 0 or 1. Let us understand this. 1, 2 and 3. These 3 are in A. So if these 3 are in A, we say that 1, 2, 3 has membership grade 1. Let us move to say 4 and 5. 4 and 5 are not in A. So we say that it has membership grade 0. So this set is called a crisp set. If we define the membership grade, the membership grade, grade by say mu, then mu a x. So this is a function which takes value either 0 or 1. And it takes value 0 if this x, this x is not in A. And it takes value 1 if x belongs to A. So if corresponding to this particular example, which we took earlier, we consider it. In this case, mu a1 is 1, mu a2 is again 1, mu a3 is 1. Similarly, if we see mu a4, it is coming out to be 0. And how do we define the function? The function is defined as mu a, the membership grade is a function from x to the set 0 1 remember this is a set this set is two elements 0 and 1 it take values either 0 or 1 either belongs to or does not belong to so this set is called a crisp set. It has either belong to or doesn't belong to. Now if we ex extend the same thing, we are going to extend this. In a way, we are going to extend this and let us extend it. So we can extend this function as as consider a membership grade say mu a from x to 0 1 0 1 so i hope you had seen this you have noticed that this is a closed interval this is not a set so this you can see the difference this one is closed interval and here we have the set which has only two elements 0 and 1 so now the membership will be either 0 or say 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 so on till 1. Suppose 
Suppose there is a set say x which has say element a, b, c and d. And now define the membership grade in fuzzy as mu a x from x to 0, 1. Sorry, it is mu a. Now what is mu a? It is the membership grade. Now let us define as per this set A. What is the membership grade? Let this mu, this function takes A to say 0 0.1. Then let this be 0 0.2. Let this be 0 0.8. And let this D has full membership grade. It is 1. So then we write the fuzzy set. How do we write this fuzzy set? We write the fuzzy set as first way of writing. This is first way of writing as small a. You can see here with its membership grade 0 0.1. Then comes this here small b membership grade 0 0.2. Similarly c with 0 0.8 and lastly d with, 0, with 1. Okay, so this is a way of writing a fuzzy set. Now it can be written in one more way. There's one more method to write it. And that is, second method of writing it is, membership grade 0 0.1 at A, membership grade 0 0.2 at B, membership grade 0 0.8 at C, and one at D. So these are the two ways of writing or you can say denoting a fuzzy set okay if the fuzzy set is say like you don't want to uh, represent the fuzzy set as 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.8 or 1 in spite of that you want to say that the membership is governed by uh, uh, a function so suppose there is a set we are saying that we have this set A, where obviously the fuzzy set is represented by the point and its membership grade. I have written this where X belongs to our universal set that is capital X. Where, where what is the membership grade? Mu X, how it is governed? It is governed by this function say 1 plus X squared. So suppose you have to find the membership grade of uh, say 1, 2 and 3. Suppose I want to find the membership grade of 1, 2, 3 for this particular fuzzy set. So membership grade of 1 will be 1 upon 1 plus 1 square and this is coming out to 0 0.5. Similarly, if we go for membership grade for 2, we will get 1 upon 1 plus 2 square coming out to be 0 0.2 and similarly we'll find the membership grade for 3 and this will come out to be 0 0.1. So this, this is another way of writing of a fuzzy set. Okay. So uh, before moving further, how to write different types of fuzzy set, how, what is triangular, what is trapezoidal and different types of fuzzy set. Let us see the graph of this crisp set and the fuzzy set. Crisps we had discussed here. This one was crisps. Uh, sorry. Yes. This one was crisps. And yes, this one was fuzzy. We have discussed fuzzy here. So let us go to the representation. So first we'll go to represent the crisp set. Let this be 0 and let here be 1. Okay. So crisp set uh, which we had seen here, it takes value either 0 or 1. Either 0 or 1. And no value in between. So let us move. Okay. So it can take value. Let us take, it will take 0 or 
we have this till one and then it will take either zero either one so we have this one and then and then it is zero so crisp set can take this represents a crisp set this is a crisp set see here it takes one value it takes zero value or one value this blue line this blue line represents a crisp set so this is a crisp set and it is represented by blue line so if you can see students it can't take value here in between so that is why fuzzy set is introduced so you can see the dotted red line it can't take the crisp set can't take this value so that is why we are moving to fuzzy sets so let us move to uh, let us check i'm drawing the uh, trapezoidal fuzzy set this time so let this y axis represents say membership grade our new x and let this be zero let this be the highest membership grade in our case because we are not taking lattice we are taking closed interval zero to one so let us make this diagram of a triangular fuzzy set this time we'll discuss it later what is triangular trapezoidal fuzzy set so this is a fuzzy set because it takes value zero here so you can see it is taking value zero here it is taking value between 0 and 1 here say if uh, suppose here we can see 0 0.5 it takes value 0 0.5 also it takes here in this case it is a normal fuzzy set it takes value 1 here now it takes value again from 0 to 1 and you can see it takes value 0 so here we can see the interval is the whole 0 to 1 and here we can see the interval is there is no interval it's a set zero either zero or one either belongs to or doesn't belongs to in membership grade of fuzzy set it has continuous values from zero to one so through graph we understood what is the difference between uh, crisp and fuzzy set now let us see what uh, in the form of a table the differences So if we see the graph, fuzzy sets, see the fuzzy sets, graph of fuzzy set, uh, it has a progressive transition. You can see it has a progressive transition uh, of the membership, among the membership grade from 0 to 1. But if you see the crisp set, transition is sudden. See the sudden transition, 0, then 1, so on. So we can write this as, Fuzzy sets have a progressive transition Okay, progressive transition of what? Or you can say among the Uh, now you see the values so you can say that this one is infinite values valued and if we go to the crisp set the value it takes is 0 and 1 so it is by valued logic so we can write here so this logic is infinite valued and if we go to crisp set crisp is by valued okay so if again next difference so where we do we use by valued logic in digital design by value switch off switch on when we have fuzzy controllers then we have to use this infinite valued logic so we can write this again here so this is used in uh, say fuzzy controllers and this is used wherever 
by valued logic is used and we can say that's a digital design okay perfect next move on to next so as we discussed this fuzzy one shows gradual membership degrees and this shows total membership degree so fourth one is this shows total membership and this shows gradual membership okay and the third uh, fifth thing which uh, i will say comes under uncertainty so you can see uh, in this logic when there was a set a which has say one two three elements we can directly say that one belongs to a you are sure you are perfect this answer is perfect and if i ask for about what about four you will say no four doesn't belongs to a so it is a precise location for the set boundaries so we can say that fifth one that is the crisp has precise location for the set boundaries for the set boundaries and if i go to uh, fuzzy set so we have the uncertainty about the set boundaries so it has uncertainty about set boundaries so these are five and there are few more if you can write by seeing this graph you can always go for few more uh, comparison between crisp and fuzzy sets crisp versus fuzzy okay so students you still have any problem uh, you can write back in the comment and also in the next lecture we'll discuss different types of fuzzy sets thank you